Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 9 of the Age of Engineering. Today, I'm processing some ores that I got from last episode. Uh, did some mining, which you can probably tell based on the fact that I'm smelting ores, and my pickaxe and hammer have a bit less durability than they had at the end of last episode. Last episode, we set up some cool stuff. We got a watermill running. Fancy. And we've got a coal generator, and that's all plugged up in here to an HV capacitor that has a decent amount of RF stored in it, and more and more is coming in passively. Last episode was all about passive power gen. We also got a solar panel hooked up to our CESU, and it's producing power at a decent rate right now, which is exciting for me. Um, today, I'd like to start progressing uh, down the path into the empowering age. So for this, we're going to need... Uh, and empower. That will open up the empowering age, which will get us access to a bunch of stuff apparently. Uh, but it does look like a pretty difficult set of steps that we need to go through. So to get an empowerer, um, we need two iron casings, which are, you know, advanced machine casings. That's cool. We need display stands, which needs a bunch of quartz and some advanced coils. That's not a big deal. Uh, Restonia crystal we know how to make. That's easy peasy. Batteries, not so bad until we get to the energy module. The energy module requires a power cube, which we've already made, so it can't be that expensive. I may have forgotten what it was. And purified coal, which is made by combining enriched coal with uh, enriched gold ingot. Neat. So purified coal has a burn time of 10,000. By comparison, regular coal has a burn time of 1,600. So it's like 10 times-ish, close-ish to 10 times as much uh, power that you'll get out of purified coal. Now, it does require you know, enriched coal ingot. Now there's also enriched coal, which we can get apparently only uh, from coal coke. It says only the coal coke recipe is correct. So ignore these two values like this, you know, only the recipe using coal coke is correct. I guess there was um, a few things that were just tricky to get the recipes working right in JEI's lookup. Um, enriched coal, we need coal dust, which is grown from prune seeds and prune seeds don't look too bad. Um, it's a combination of coal coke and broccoli seeds, broccoli seeds being a combination of regular seeds and pumpkin seeds. Long story short, I need to go find the pumpkins because I don't really have pumpkins. Now, I think I've seen some around, out and about. We definitely have some regular wheat seeds, so that's fine. Might as well do some farming while I'm over here. I swing by this farm every now and then, usually off camera, and just do this and get myself all my farming done. Easy peasy. Nice. Uh, so, yeah, we've got some stuff to do. Let's go over to our mining age and see if we can't find pumpkins. Because that's like a nice flat terrain. And pumpkins usually just kind of show up in the middle of nowhere, right? It's a thing that happens. Um, I feel like I've seen pumpkins around. And I mean, we can take... Either that's a bunch of beehives all growing together, or they're pumpkins. Nice. Totally think they're pumpkins. Looking like pumpkins to me. Cool. Is it a shovel that's the right tool for pumpkins? Oh, it's an axe, huh? Uh, I think I have that. That's a little bit faster. Plus it does, you know. Neat. Pumpkins for days. So let's head back to our portal. And what we can do now is make these seeds that will allow me to get this weird coal stuff that I need to progress and make an empower. And the empower actually opens up a bunch of stuff from actually additions. Speaking of opening stuff up from actually additions, I wonder um, what would be a challenge into getting some canola going. Um, canola press looks pretty standard. Um, oil generator. So th to craft an oil generator, you need empowered canola. So we need an empower before we have access to the oil generator from actually additions. That's good to know. It stinks, but it's good to know. Um, shouldn't be too bad. So, in theory, we're going to want 
you guys converted here. And then we want our calculator, which I think I threw in this room. Nope. Did I throw in this room? Yeah. Regular calculator. Let's grab our info calculator too, because we might want some stuff. So combine you guys to get some broccoli seeds. We'll get a handful of broccoli seeds. I don't know what, I mean, I assume it grows broccoli. Like that's, you know, obvious. But beyond that, I don't know what use broccoli seeds have. Bum, 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 bum. I should have a hoe around here somewhere. There it is. Because I'm going to go probably want to expand this farm a little bit. Just make it more farm-like. So let's just do this. What I, what I should probably do is like make this a proper good looking farm. But for now, we can do that. Uh, now, prune seeds were cold coke and broccoli seeds. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. And what I'm also going to do is grab some bone meal. We might have cold coke laying around here. We do. Nice. And I might want just, let's grab another pumpkin. And we will calculate our you two together. And then you guys together. And that works perfectly. Cool. So we've got prune seeds. Uh, I'm going to toss this into here. And that should be cool. Works for me. Let's go check out prune seeds, which I may or may not be pronouncing correctly. Hey. So I'll plan. Okay, cool. Prune seeds planted with advanced greenhouse or higher. Works also in a basic greenhouse. Only so I have to use a greenhouse. That's interesting. Basic greenhouse. Advanced greenhouse. Neat. So it looks like we have to get a greenhouse in order to plant these. Maybe. So do a little terrain flattening. Let's look at, in the book here, we've got machines. Maybe that's where. So there's a bunch of machines available in here. Um, weather station. I don't see anything in there about greenhouse. It might be under... Nutrition? Basic greenhouse, a multi-block crop growth environment which can plant and harvest and grow plants. It requires energy for its operation. The greenhouse will build itself. Neat. To build a greenhouse, you must first find a flat area of dirt and grass as the top layer. Then you must fill the greenhouse with the required build resources. Shift clicking will build the resource or tell you of any such errors, such as blocks are in the way or construction of it is complete or not. Neat. You also need an input output chest, which should be placed directly behind the greenhouse. Items input and output is handled automatically. So those are the things that we need to make for the greenhouse to be built. So that sounds cool. Um, so this thing is going to require power. Uh, which is something that we want to keep in mind. So we need to power the greenhouse, yes. Um, which leads me to believe that I might want to consider. So if it needs power, we should figure out how we're going to handle that. Let me clear out some flat terrain. You know what, I should really make an excavator if I'm going to be clearing out large swaths of terrain. Um, let's grab some stuff and or some things. Let's macerate more of you. I should have a bunch of iron in here. An iron excavator would be good, right? I feel like it would be. Excavator needs a plate and a rod and a head. All right, so that's uh, eight and eight is 16. Boom, and that should be cool. Back in a minute, I'm gonna make this real quick off camera. There we go. I figured wood binding would be fine. Nice. Well, one thing's for sure. This excavator makes getting sand a little bit easier. Nice. 
Uh, so why am I getting sand? I was looking at the recipe for the greenhouse, and I have most of what I need. Most. Most. Most of what I need. Uh, we need bog earth. That's one thing we're going to need. Uh, so we're going to craft a bit of that. Ta-da. Shouldn't be too hard. Looks easy enough. Um, and I think we're going to basically want to get that growing out here a little bit real fast. So let's get... I want to say that's all I need to do to craft bog earth and to peat. Because, and I don't know if I can bone meal it or not. I have no idea. We're going to get another set of those. Now, we could make a farm. I wonder if those farm blocks are tricky. Ah, 10 electron tubes. We need thermionic fabricators. So if we want to automate farming at all, we're going to need to progress. But this should at least grow peat for me. Now, can you bone meal? No. So we're just going to have to wait, uh, basically, and hope that that works. Uh, I think it even mentions it in the guide. There should be something in here. You can get peat from bog earth, which is placed next to water, within a range of two blocks. Also, you can craft a coal generator, right? So that should grow peat because uh, the greenhouse requires peat. It also requires prune seeds, industrial hemp seeds, both of which I have, crystallized canola seeds, which I have. <laughs> and uh, that's about it. Um, four enriched gold and nine reinforced iron. Reinforced iron is iron plus reinforced stone. So that shouldn't be too bad. I think I can make those right now while I'm waiting. So let's see, do I still have some wood laying around? Yeah. So that should make that. You and you, get me that. Oh, one more. I think this and this, yeah, derp. Cool, nice. And then reinforced gold was, is it redstone? Or enriched gold ingot? Enriched gold. So I think this might be a harder challenge than I thought. Nope, 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 that's it. Uh, redstone and gold. That's it. Thought so. And that gets smelted up. So that should be everything I need. As soon as that bog earth grows, we're good to go for the greenhouse. Um, the other thing we're going to need for the greenhouse, according to the info calculator, uh, 56 stairs. 18 logs, 30 planks, and 14 glass. Now, I don't know if it'll recognize chisel glass, but I do have pretty much all of that ready to go. Um, so that was how many stairs again? Everything else I should be good on, but stairs was 56. So we could make that out of... So that'll be 20. Fifty-two. Fifty-six. Cool. So we'll find out if chiseled glass works or not. Because I think I've got I've got at least fourteen of those. Nice. All right. So at this point, just waiting on bog earth, uh, which may or may not have grown while we were there. No. Let's make sure you're well lit, by the way. And we'll take a nap. I'm gonna come back in a few minutes once this has grown because it may take a bit. I wonder if fertilizer works. No idea. It's possible. Oh, I was really hoping it would. Can I right-click this on like regular plants? Yeah, I can. Neat. All right, just curious. I see. Pete! Hooray! It actually took a while. <laughs> I walked away from 
like 10 minutes and it finally uh it finally grew so that's exciting which means that we should be in a place to make a greenhouse nice okay cool um so here's my question i may want to extend this room because we're gonna probably have a lot of rf based machines in here um so i'm thinking i actually want my greenhouse to live maybe over here like yeah like because i don't i don't see me needing to extend this room the storage room right now and i mean we could always move this later if we needed to um so did you tell me what i need build shift right click not enough energy okay cool um so let's do this let's get some clay because one thing i probably could have done that i didn't do So for an LV wire connector, it's too hard in clay. That's the relay. The connector needs Restonia crystals and three copper. Cool. And then over here to cook it. Really glad I made that induction furnace. Have I mentioned that at all recently? I probably did. So the wiring here might be a little bit sloppy, but uh, it'll probably have to do for now. We're gonna have to tolerate sloppy wiring simply due to the fact that uh, we're not in a really good resource position. Sticks, huh? Not in a really great resource position as it were to handle that. So we want connector here. What I'm thinking is I'll run out the corner window. And then you can run maybe all the way over to here. Does this look cool? It's not great, but it'll work. And then here. Nice. Cool. So you should be getting power now. Beautiful. Shift right click, not enough energy. Okay. So uh, this thing needed... Let's just go down the line. 56 stairs, 18 logs. So 18 logs, 56 stairs, 14 glass. Hopefully that works. Uh, and then how many planks was it? Thirty planks. Cool. Build. Block at X64, Y80, Z431 is blocking construction. Z431. Is it you? Are you the one blocking construction? Haha, <laughs> look at you. Look at you blocking construction. Uh, maybe you need power on the front. Build. Hey, there we go. Greenhouse requires some things. What did you not have enough of? 14 logs, 15 clanks, 14 glass. I thought I gave it everything it asked for. However, I may be mistaken. Let's cook up a little more glass. Let's chisel it, just so that it looks cool. Chisels in here somewhere. Fourteen logs, fifteen planks. Fourteen more logs. Okay. I'll just give it an overabundance of resources. How's that? 
Yay, construction has begun. Sweet. You require 56 stairs and 15 planks. Why do you require so many things, greenhouse? I don't know why you keep requiring things, but we'll figure it out. I'm just going to give you a few more of these. Because it looks pretty done to me, doesn't it? Forty stairs. Okay. If you insist. I feel like you're lying. Ow. Construction has begun. Get out of my farm. Complete! Alright, cool. Well, I don't know why you insisted on having all that stuff, but, uh, okay. We can demolish too, which is cool. Yeah, look, all the extra resources I gave it, it really didn't need. So now I can plant prune seeds? Sweet. Well, that's kind of cool. The only kind of problem I have here is if I want to automate input and output of this thing, I feel like I actually have to change where the wiring is. Oh good, it does grow. But it spits items on the ground behind it. Bad greenhouse. So... That's a little bit annoying. So what I need to do really is power it from the bottom is what you're telling me. And because of the way my power system is designed, that's probably not an ideal solution. But if I can sneak a wire up here. Yeah. That's cool. And then we can put a chest on the front and we'll be good. In theory. Cool. So now, as we grow, they should all land in there. Well, that's pretty neat. I like it. Can I throw, like... Well, I'll get prune seeds out, too. Cool. So we're getting coal dust. Nice! Alright, we're back. Uh, just grabbing some cold coke, because the next thing I'm going to have to make is you guessed it we now have the coal dust we need from the prune seeds so that means we should be able to get close to an empower so main thing we need to focus on making is an energy module so we need purified coal which is a rich gold ingot plus some rich coal which is coal coke plus that so let's get uh this door closed and we can do one two cool calculator combine these guys We'll go cook them up. Nice. I've been kind of passively processing any ores that I feel like processing. Because it's such a slow process to macerate, like it really takes a long time. Um, so no, no, no big deal, but now was it these two or was it these two? Yeah, there we go. That and then this. Right? Uh... Enriched coal, enriched gold ingot. Enriched coal, enriched gold ingot. Am I missing something here? Oh, and a scientific calculator. Aha! Not just a regular calculator, but a scientific calculator. I see. So we need a better calculator. Good to know. Uh, so what's the difference? A portal device with the capable of dividing two items together. Okay. That sounds cool. Okay, uh, so let's make it. Scientific calculator needs eight steel, a couple copper. By the way, this has literally been running like this whole time, just because. Um, so a couple of you. 
Do we have smooth stone handy? We do. So this needs four buttons each. Nice. I could probably put away some other junk that I don't need at the moment. It would feel that way, yes. We can just straight up convert those. I feel like inventory is going to plague me a little bit for a while now. But I have an idea for that. Maybe we can check it out very soon, sooner than later. Uh, so reinforced stone and those gold dudes. So that's not a big deal. And then the calculator screen just needs some redstone. So reinforced stone. Scientific calculator? Nice. Cool. All right, so you need energy, which we can get in this guy. I haven't hooked him up to power yet, but we'll get there. How's your energy, uh, by the way? Your RF is fine. Nice. I like it. Oh, wow, you hold a lot more RF. Neat. You definitely hold more than the regular calculator does. Twice as much, it would seem. Cool. So then you, we're going to need another bit of this here and here. Now I'm going to say that you probably don't replace the other calculator. Right. You do division. This one does addition. So that's neat. And then you can do that. And then we'll need the scientific calculator. Now apparently there's a calculator that can handle all these functions, by the way. Um, but, you know, that's a thing that we'll have to get to later. So purified coal, nice. All right. Now if we want a tier one battery, we just need purified coal and power cube. Power cube is a redstone ingot and some compressed coal balls. Not a problem. Let's turn half of you into compress or into macerated. And we'll be back in a minute because uh, it's going to take a moment to macerate all this stuff. All right. So that should be that, that should be good. So now, if we want to get a battery module, it's going to require that. Cool. And then it's a scientific calculator with purified coal. So let's get that guy, you and the purified coal. Nice. Now we've got an energy module. Sweet. Now we can get a battery. Cool. All right. So uh, that's that. So if I want an empower. Right, we're going to need, everything else is not terrible, um, but we definitely need a bunch of gold cable and some Inuri crystals. But that's, the rest of that's not terrible. We need a couple advanced casings, um, which is why, you know, I'm going to get another half stack of you. That's why I did uh, some extras in the macerator here, because I knew I was going to need them eventually. But now I'm thinking, oh, let's go ahead and go even a little bit crazier, make some more. Uh, so that's cool, right? Display stand shouldn't be too bad. We have some quartz. How much do we have in here? 93. Might be enough, might not. Might need to take a quick trip to the nether. Um, but at the very least, let's get a handful of you extruded. Because that'll take a minute as well. And we'll need some Inori crystals. That shouldn't be too bad. Nice. Cool. So that's your battery. This guy, basic coil, needs redstone crystals. So we're going to need two basic coils, right? So some redstone and quartz. So let's get about eight redstone. And some quartz. And what I think I'm going to do is get the batteries ready and then wrap up the episode. I'm going to go make sure I have enough resources for everything I want to make. But we should be pretty close to good here. So we're going to want two of you. Two of you. You. Nice. Double battery. Beautiful. So now all I got to do is craft the iron casings. And we're going to need five display stands total. Right. So in order to get five display stands, we're going to need a handful more advanced coils. But um, the green quartz is chiseled quartz block, which we can make with those. Uh, but the same recipe for aesthetic quartz. Right. So we're going to need. All right. So four quartz equals a block. Right. And we're going to need 
pretty much six blocks per this. So we need six times five is 30, times four is 120 quartz. So definitely have to pop over to the nether for a quick mining run. But we're gonna do that off camera and we'll have to come back next time. So for now, Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you guys are enjoying the series thus far. We will be back next episode with some more fun, crazy stuff. Uh, for now, take it easy.